Hello everyone, how are you all? Um, just got a new tripod, so I'm trying it out. So I thought I'd do just a little bit of gameplay footage from my arcade cabinet I've got. Uh, this one's custom made for me. Um, it's my Ghost and Goblins themed arcade cabinet. It's absolutely stunning bit of kit. Um, it's got all the the usual. It's 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 a Raspberry Pi inside, not a PC. Um, some games run really well. Uh, there's a couple like the, the Street Fighter arcades and stuff in here, which they're never going to run properly. But I absolutely love this for the the proper old school arcade games. This is one of my favourites. Um, very recent favourites, to be honest. Um, just had a game night and we ended up picking up random games and me and my mate Podge, we played this and played this and played this so much so that my mate John was like, right, I'm going. <laughs> we did actually get quite good, but I've just had a bit of um, a game on it and I forgot actually how difficult it is to control. Uh, it's called Flicky. Um, you slide a lot. You know, when you run, the momentum keep, keeps you going. Um, and the jump as well, it's like, it's really floaty because obviously you're a bird flying about. But it's a fun game. Once you actually get that, it's um, you have to collect the birds and then get them back to the home at the top, and you've got to avoid the cats and everything else that are going around. And it can get quite tricky. We um, we did well at one point. We were um, competing for high scores, and I cannot remember what we got up to. I'm useless at the bonus stage, uh, and he was really good at that. Where I was actually getting quite good at the um, the speed because you get a, a big big bonus if you get it like all the birds home in a certain time and then the bonuses go down the longer you take so anyway enough waffling let's give this a go see if I can remember how to play this the worst thing is when you're playing this game as well is when you jump and you hit your head on something it just completely slows you down there we go. Um, if you the more of them you get in at the same time as you saw there the bonus the higher it goes up so and there's also cat, the cats on the screen as well. You can, just in there, get um, the weapons on the screen and fire them forward. When you jump, it automatically fires them. This literally is just left, right, and one jump button. And you get more of a bonus as well. There's like coins down here or gems um, if you hit both of them at the same time and knock them out. Oh, this bonus stage, I'm useless at this bonus stage. I said, oh, I don't know why, I, end up, I go too soon. But then I, you miss that one. Oh, I only miss one. Just going to go a little bit later when I do that one. What will ever on now? Well, this one. They, and it, sometimes it starts you at the top, sometimes at the bottom. Um, the cats will pretty much take the same path um, until they're sort of homing on you. And you've got to be careful as well because sometimes they just appear in them little doors like there. They'll just appear and jump out at you and they can catch you out there. It's good when you get a jump right down the top. Oh, I like this level. You haven't got a jump. It took me a while to figure this one out. You can just go all the way down. Oh, I say that and I miss them. <laughs> oh, and if they catch you as well, they don't necessarily kill you unless they hit you. Um, but if they touch the birds behind you, they sort of like detach them and you have to go back and get them. And that was right in my head. Should have just kept on running. Um, right, let's just go head straight down. Collect them all up. And then, if you notice as well, it's constantly scrolling. Um, but it like repeats. So, whatever jumps off this side appears this side. So you can sort of use that to your advantage as well. And let's see how we go here. How do they jump over that? So that's when you're getting into the, the floaty controls again. Well, that was a lucky shot. Didn't think I was going to make that then. Oh, it's run all the way down here. Oh, I'm losing it now. <laughs> Come back, there we are. That was a shocking level. Still got a bit of a bonus though, but not the best. Oh, this one, they come and they're a lot further apart, so you sort of got to get a, a run up at them. Missed them all that time. Yeah, I'm 
useless at this bonus stage. I just wish I'd be able to just play the bonus stage there, you know, on its own and just get used to that. there. I'm not doing too well on this one. Got him. That's what I wanted to do the first time. And then I hit the wall again. No, um... Definitely out of practice on this. Definitely out of practice. But hey, it's all good fun. That's been a while since I've played it properly. I said, it's the controls on this, I think, are most difficult to get used to. Uh, come in for me. Nope. <laughs> come on. Better than this in the past. Kill this bloody animal. Cats. Did you fight it the wrong way? Getting frustrated now. So, yeah, how floaty you are in the when you're in the air. Yeah, you only get to that point when you get annoyed with the game that you start making stupid mistakes. But it didn't even beat my last score when I practiced before I put this on. Yeah, it definitely was ass. Anyway, that's that. Just a little quick video for now. Uh, I may do some more gameplay footage of these. Uh, just pick a couple of games that I enjoy. Probably practice before I actually um, <laughs> give it a go and put it on camera. But yeah, that's that. Guys, I'll catch you all again next time.